very beautiful servant and I want to greet you all to say blessed Sabbath to everyone greet you all in the four corners of the world where everyone is listening to this study for today which is not a common study people are scared of talking about the coming of Christ but we should be happy when you hear about the coming of Christ so that's why the topic of today is mathematical calculations of the coming of Christ it's a very extensive study which I might carry on for a couple of weeks but we have to know the coming of God he will never leave us in darkness people everywhere are preaching about being in darkness we should be in darkness the devil should never be known but this is unscriptural the no scripture says so because as we read from uh, Matthew chapter 24 verse 37 what does it say Matthew chapter 24 verse 37 God has never hidden that our days will always be the same as the time now read from th verse 37 yeah and the Lord said mm -hmm. unto Noah, mm. Come thou and all thy house. 24 verse 37, Matthew. Is that Matthew? Right, go to Matthew 24 verse 37. So, God has never left the world in darkness of any event. Even when he, he destroyed people by the flood or in the time of Sodom, it was not obscure. Verse 20, verse 37. Yeah. But as the days of as Noah, the days of Noah were, yeah. So shall also the coming of the Son of See, Man be. What is he trying to? He's not hiding anything. He's telling us straight away as the days of Noah. When you want to study about the coming of Christ, go back to the study of the days of Noah. Noah wasn't left in darkness. Noah was told exactly how many years. He was going to preach. He was told he's going to preach for 120 years. He was told. And even when the time it came for him to go into the ark, he was not in darkness as to when he was supposed to go into the ark. So how come now we say, let, let's go to a quotation uh, from second coming. Uh, it's SC or C in the new estate, 52.2. So I want to read it to find out those who, who preach that we're not going to find the date of his coming are so much in unbelief because they, they, they're fooling themselves, one, keeping themselves in darkness, and they don't want to go to heaven. That's what I can t tell in briefly. That's what it means. Now, let's start from because, because on the top, because. Because our Lord mm -hmm. declares that as the days of Noah were. As the days of Noah were, yeah. So shall so should also the coming of the Son of Man be. Right. Said God to Noah. Right. My spirit shall not always strive with man. Right. For that he also is flesh. So you see, when Noah was there to build the ark, it was not something obscure from God. He was actually told by God why the ark was being built. The ark was being built because God now wanted to extinct the world. So he had to tell a prophet. That my spirit shall not always strive with, with a man, for that he also is flesh, yet his days shall be a hundred and twenty years. This is what he, the, the man was now, in, you know, the life, lifespan was reduced to 120 at the time of Noah. Though we know Noah had lived about how many, 600 and something at that time. But he was told that the lifespan of men now had been reduced to 120. Why? Because of sinning. Now, let's read a, uh, further to that. The period. The period of right. the flood mm -hmm. was given to the patriarch. Right. And under the direct providence of God, right. he prepared the ark and warned the people. Right. So the fulfilling prophecies mm -hmm. and the signs distinctly declare that the second coming of Christ mm -hmm. is at the doors. Right. And the solemn message has gone forth. Right. And those who claim those that who the claim. text proves that nothing may be known of right. the period of the second advent. There are people who, make, who, who take from the text of Matthew chapter 24 without understanding what it is. We will go to that text so that you understand it more fully. They say nothing, no date will be known. Nobody will be told. Even Christ himself won't know. Even the angels don't know. But 
those who claim that the text proves that nothing may be known of the period, right? Mm -hmm. Read on there. Mm -hmm. Those who claim mm -hmm. that the text proves that nothing may be known of the period of the second advent right. make it prove too much for their own unbelief. That, that's the spirit of prophecy. When you say we will never know the debt, you are proving here so much in unbelief. So much. You, you say, they say you make it known too much for their unbelief. This is what it, you do not believe. That's why you don't expect the day. That's why you don't expect expect the debt because you don't believe but when you believe you will be eagerly looking forward to this day prying into the scriptures to see more about this day more about the time of the coming of christ if you believe in christ you should be expecting to see christ so you have to pray and the spirit of god will lead you to find out when is this going to be you understand mm -hmm. this is what sister white is saying right but yeah. As recorded by Mark, mm -hmm. the declaration reads, right. But of that day right. and that hour mm -hmm. knoweth no man. This is what is knoweth no man. As that day and that hour knoweth no man. No, no, no. not the angels not which the are angels. in heaven. Right. Neither the Son, right. but the Father. Right. So this is what Mark has written in the Bible, isn't it? Now, read on. Yeah. If the text proves that men will know nothing of the period of the second advent. Right. It also proves that angels will know nothing of it. Do you think that is practical? If you think that text proves that men won't know, the text also says the angels, angels won't know. Do you think it will be practical, right? And also and that also the sun will know nothing of it. also will know nothing about that day. Do you think that is practical? That's being foolish to think that way, isn't it? Now, uh -huh. Right, read on. This is this, what Sister White is commenting in the in the in the scripture I've just given you in the New Estate, right? Uh -huh. This position right. proves too much. Right. Therefore, mm -hmm. proves nothing to put nothing to the point. Right. Christ will know of the period of his second advent That's to this what world. Sister White says Christ will know of the period of the death he is going to set the, the, the journey to come and collect us. Christ will know. Uh -huh. The holy angels who wait around the throne of heaven right. to receive messages to relate oh sorry to receive messages relative to the part they act in the plan of salvation of men right will know of the time of this closing darkness, event of salvation they've been working so much for our salvation they will know the debt right and the spirit of prophecy proves that right and so mm -hmm. will the waiting right. watching people of god understand right uh -huh. An Old English version right. of the passage reads... Go to the Old English version of that same text of Mark. This will teach you exactly what God said. And people have twisted it so that everyone believes that nobody will know. But what does the Old version say of the... of the When it was actually interpreted from the Hebrew version, I mean from the Greek version, what does it say about that text, right? Uh -huh. An old English version of mm. the passage reads, mm -hmm. But that day mm. and hour, right. no man maketh known. Did you hear what it actually says? Of that day and that hour, no one will make it known. announce it. No one maketh known. Meaning, no one will announce that day except who, right? Neither the angels, the angel which are in heaven. The announce that date, right? Neither the Son, not even Christ will announce the debt, but the Father. But it is the job of the Father to announce it. Did you hear what it means? It does not say we want to know about the debt. What it means, the person who will just herald it to us is the Father, not the angel, not Christ, but the one who has got the job to tell us about the day and hour is the Father. It's actually, the, the text proves that we will know. That's what the text proves. It says we will know, right? And <clears throat> right. Read this on. is the correct reading. This is the correct reading. That's what Sister White is trying to measure that um, a verse in Mark, so that the devil has run forward to deceive everyone to say you won't know. Even Christ doesn't know. Even in angel world. But Sister White, with the Spirit of God, corrects that version. What people's attitude. What people have interpreted with the, these private interpreters have interpreted that we will never know, but we will know. So we have to go back to 
the time of Noah to see. He was told. He was told. So today we are going to study. We are going to study. Have the mathematical calculation to know. And someone was saying, even William Miller uh, got it wrong. Now, what did William Miller get it wrong? He he got only wrong the in the event, but not the date. The date was correct, but the event was the going of Christ into the Holy of Holies in 1844. But the time was correct. Now, until today, when he had, he, he read Daniel chapter 8, verse 13 to 14, he caught the 2,300 days coming from 457 BC to 1844. He was 100% correct. But the event, he got a wrong event because instead it was the going of Christ into the Holy of Holies. He caught it. He caught the, the 2,300 days, gave him the time God was going to go somewhere. He caught it. And it's a fundamental belief to us. And this is what we are breaking up. So he did not get anything wrong. God deliberately caused him to believe that it was the coming on earth. And if you read the prophecies, okay, in Revelation chapter 10, you find that God said it will be bitter in the belly. It will be sweet. The, that prophecy was going to be sweet as honey in the mouth. He will understand the 2,300 days, but bitter because there was disappointment because he, he got a wrong event, but he did not get a wrong calculation. He got a wrong event, which was the event of going into the whole of holies. But as, as for the 2,300 days, he was 100% correct. So as it was in the days of Noah. So we have to study about Noah. Noah didn't only build the ark. He knew what was he do. He was doing, he knew through these calculations when the, the flood was going to rain. So let's read, uh, study much about the, the time of the Noah and uh, read from the first te the text that I gave you. Uh, read. Genesis 7. Right, in Genesis 7. Uh, we, are, we are starting our study from Genesis chapter 7, studying about Noah, right? Mm -hmm. So I've just flipped on to Genesis chapter 7. Okay. Read uh, from verse... From verse 1, yeah? Right. And the Lord mm -hmm. said unto Noah, Right. Come thou and mm -hmm. all thy house mm -hmm. into the ark. Right. For thee mm -hmm. have I seen righteous before, before me in this generation. So you see, after building the ark, he was not left in darkness as to when to enter the ark. God came to this prophet, instructed the prophet exactly how many people had accepted his message. It was his own children who accepted his message. Mm -hmm. So he says to them, come now. You and your children. God, God is not so ignorant as to knowing who has accepted the message. Whether they be just a family or a handful of people, he knows. He knows how many, he counts how many have accepted the message of the ark. And he says, you and your family, you are the only ones that have accepted. Now, when you read that in Matthew chapter 24, verse 37, it says, as it was in the days of Noah, knowing not even many people will accept the message. He knows that. And he counts those who have accepted the message. So you shouldn't break about numbers there. We just break about, have you understood the message and accepted it? This is one thing you have got to live by in the last days. So he says, you and your family, you come now. That date of going in the ark wasn't it obscure. He was told exactly when, enter now. Right, read on. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said, Unto Noah, mm. come thou and mm. all thy house into the ark. Right. For thee mm. have I seen righteous before me in this generation. The only people who remained righteous after the proclamation of that message was Noah and his family. The Bible confirms that. And to, to God, he has one a lot over one person. God is not a God of numbers. Just that one family believed Noah. And that was enough for heaven. And the whole world ran away from Noah's message. Like what it is happening right now. The whole world can punish. But God is not worried about numbers. They all were swallowed by the flood. 
He will only worry about the very few who have accepted the message. This is what we are preaching. This is what we are finding from the scripture. This is what will remain effect. Now read on. Uh -huh. For yet seven days, right. and I will cause it to rain upon the earth. Right. So how many days? Yet seven days. So they entered the ark when there were still seven more days left. Right? Let's read on. I will so it means no one knew that now is only the 120 years is, 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 is left with uh, seven days for us to clock 120. He, he, he knew. When God said, enter the ark, he knew exactly how many days were left for the rain to start raining. It was seven more days. After seven days, <coughs> the rain was going to start raining. Right? Mm -hmm. For yet seven days. Mm. And I will cause it to rain upon the earth 40 right. days and 40 nights. So he was precisely given the days. How many days were left for the rain to come? And he was precisely given how many days the rain was going to rain. It was 40 days and 40 nights. Right? Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. And every living substance right. that I have made will I destroy will from destroy the, off the, the face very, of the earth. The very living substance. Which he made. You see, he is the maker. He can destroy what he has made. So there's nothing sinister about that with God. Right? Uh -huh. And Noah mm -hmm. did according unto all that the Lord commanded him. Mm -hmm. And Noah went in and his sons and his wife and his sons' wives with him mm -hmm. into the ark because mm -hmm. of the waters of the flood. So you see, when God knows it's 144,000 who are going to receive the message, he knows, he comes. He comes in. He's got a full knowledge. He has seen 144,000 coming from the house of God, receiving the message. He knows. And he knew the message of Noah was going to be received by only his own family. He knew. He counted and said, these are the only people who are righteous. Yeah. Uh -huh. And Noah mm -hmm. went in with his sons mm -hmm. and his wife and his son's wives mm -hmm. with him. Right. into the ark because of the waters of the flood. Right. And it came to pass mm -hmm. after seven days mm -hmm. that the waters of the flood were upon the earth. Mm -hmm. In this, in the 600th year of Noah's life, mm -hmm. in the second month, the with, 17th day of Noah, the month. With Noah and his family, it was no guesswork when the rain is going to start raining. It was no guesswork. He knew exactly when the rain will start. And he knew how many days the rain was going to fall on them when they were in the ark. So when he was preparing the ark, he knew what to do. He was instructed by God. It was no guess like that. You think God is going to guess and make us guess and say, oh, it's now today because no one knew the date. No one knew the hour. No one knew the... You think that's what God... It, God does not play such a game with the, the people that he created. He tells them precisely. Somewhere, there is somewhere a prophet is to tell the people exactly when to pack, when to go, when to wait. Like it was when we, William Miller did it as a time. It was the expectation of the coming of Christ that time. The timing was correct. Though he did not know the part which showed that he was entering the Holy of Holies. But the timing was correct. They knew exactly when and they packed. And they were waiting for that day, though he did not come, but he went somewhere. Did you understand? So he will not make us know. If you want to keep yourself ignorant, that's being foolish. Yeah, that's being foolish. People want to keep themselves ignorant and continue with unbelief. You think because this world is going to stay as, as much as long as what you want, but it's going to come to an end. Right, end what? Mm -hmm. And, okay. Right. I want to read that one up to verse 24. Yeah, right. oh. And it came to pass mm -hmm. after seven days right. that the waters of the flood were upon the earth. Mm -hmm. In the 600th year of Noah's life, right. in the second month, the mm -hmm. 17th day of the month, now, I've got the a same calendar day. Here. I've got a calendar. The first month here we know uh, in this calendar, I don't know whether this calendar is, is going to help us today, but we know this is the first, the, the first month, this one, which is a, a bit or Nissan. So in the first month, you know, but this rain came, waited for the second month. The first month is Nissan or a bib. And then the second month is Aya. 
And what date was it there? In the 600th year of Noah's life, so in the no, second Noah month. Noah now 600 years old. And he's being told by God, the lifespan of the people after his generation is going to be 120. That's why they were given 120 to preach for the, for the rain to come. Mm. Now, on the date, that date, when mm. he was exactly 600 years old, what happened? Read. In the second month. It was in the second month, which is Ayah. Now, if you don't have the biblical calendar, I don't know where you're going with this, all these verses. These are prophecies. That's why we should be knowing about the biblical calendar. So that you know exactly what God is talking about. How can you wait for his coming without knowing when? Because that's why Sister White says in Great Control, page 399, it says we should study this symbolic service for the second coming of Christ is on the symbolic service cycle. So we have nothing to do with it, but we are waiting for Christ to come. Is that not folly? So read on. In the 600th years, yeah? In the 600th year mm -hmm. of Noah's life, mm -hmm. in the second month, right. the 17th day of the month, mm -hmm. the same day right. were all the fountains of the great deep broken so up. So exactly, second month, Aya, but on that 17. day, 17th day of that month. Now, did you see? It was precisely known, even the day, even the date, even if you have got nothing about the biblical calendar. That's why you're just going everywhere, telling people that we will not know. Because you don't even know this time. This is what Paul talks about in First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 1. Says, As for the times and seasons, we will be told. But those who are of the night won't know. But there are people of the day, they will know. Read the whole chapter and understand that there are people who will say peace and safety and sudden destruction comes to them. But there are people who will be knowing these times and seasons. And when they know these times and seasons, they will know. They are the people of the day. This is what Paul says in First Thessalonians chapter 5. Now, we go breaking about and say we will not know. It proves your unbelief. Now, and here it says, in the 600 year date, of his life. In on the, the second, second month, month. On the 17th day. On the 17th day. What happened? The same day were all the fountains of the great deep broken up. Right. And the windows of heaven were opened. So we see from the first month day, it's raining. And the month of the Bible is got 30 days on. Not more than 30 days. So on the 30 days, then after that, after that, uh, on the second month. 17th day second month the 17th day mm -hmm. so what happened the, the water the fountains of the, the great, great deep broke up mm -hmm. and the windows of heaven were opened right. so we know exactly when the rain started it was on the 17th day of the month Aya in the biblical calendar did you hear that now that's when the rain started raining read on mm -hmm. <laughs> And the rain mm. was upon the earth 40 days and 40 nights. Right. And the flood. So you can calculate from the 17th now and get your 40 days there. That's why I say mathematical calculation. It was calculation from the, the Bible says, as it was in the days of Noah. Mm. That's where we find our calculation of what will happen in mm. our time. Amen. If you are lazy to study all those prophecies, it's oh, not no. God's problem. God has laid it. And he says, when you want to know about his coming, go as it was in the days of Noah. You, so we should find it out from the days of Noah. Yeah, and... Mm -hmm. And the rain was mm -hmm. upon the earth 40 mm -hmm. days and 40 nights. Right. And the flood was, for, was 40 days upon the earth. Mm -hmm. And the waters increased mm -hmm. and bare up the ark. Mm -hmm. And it was left and it was left up above the earth. Right. And the waters prevailed upon the earth an hundred and fifty days. One hundred and fifty days the ark was immersed on top of the water, and the earth was beneath. This is what happened. After one twenty years, he was told exactly go in the ark when the time was one on seven days. The door was closed after seven days. The rain started on the 17th day of the second month, which is Aya, and stayed on for 40 days, 40 nights raining. But 
the earth remained for 140 days. Now, when you know that, I mean, 150, when you know that the 30 day cycle is in the Bible, then you divide 150 by 30. What do you find? Give me. I said, you bring your papers, you bring your pen and paper. How many days? Five months. We have, we have found that five months day. Now, let's go back to the other text. Mm -hmm. um, we want to move on. In Genesis right. chapter 8, verse 3, start from okay. verse 3. And the waters returned from off the earth continually. Right. And after the end of the 150 days, mm -hmm. the waters were abated. Right. And the waters decreased continually until the 10th so, month. So the raining of the, of the flood time, the rains came for 40 days, right? And then after 40 days, what happened to the... It remained immense for 150 days. And then after that, the rain, after 150 days, the, ra the rain, the waters started going down, the levels down. So they were there for 150 days, for five months. They were still in the ark there. And the, after 50, 150 days, their water is going down, it's decreasing, right? This is what we are being told there. Go to verse 5, yeah? And the waters decreased mm -hmm. continually until mm -hmm. the 10th month. Right. And in the 10th month, on the first day of the month, right. were the tops of the mountains seen. Now we are on, on Aviv, there is the first month. Now we go to second, third, which is Sivan, which is the time of the Pentecost, fourth, which is Tammuz, and fifth, it is Av, sixth is mm -hmm. Elul, Tish. seventh is Tishri, eighth is Sheshvan, Ninth is Kislev, right? And then tenth is Tevet. Now, we, we said on the new moon we are on the month Shabbat, right? But the tenth is Tevet, right? So, here, repeat that verse, yeah, on verse 5. Mm -hmm. and, the, and the waters decrease continually until right. the tenth month. Right, so it decreased continually until this 10th month, and what? In the 10th month. In the 10th month. On the first day of the month. On the new moon. Right. So the first day of the month is a new moon. So why did God stop the rains on the new moon? Do you understand? So because it is his appointed time. Now those who are saying these new moons were nailed to the cross, when we are still going to be keeping them in the new heaven and earth, do you see it's a mark point there. When the decrease of the waters finished until the tenth month of the, the first day of the tenth month, which is the month Tevet. Now there is something to it when we are being sent back to the calendar, to the biblical calendar. When he is now going to prepare his people for his coming, he will use the same calendar. So if you do not want to use this calendar, you are lost. Do you understand? This is why the devil changed the times and laws in the time of the dark ages, so that even for preparation for his coming, you are lost. Do you understand? Now, and, and what? Mm -hmm. And the waters decreased. Up to 13, yeah? All right. mm -hmm. And the waters decreased continually right. until the 10th month. Right. In the 10th month, mm -hmm. on the first day of the month, mm -hmm. were the tops of the mountains so seen. So we are seeing Noah was not in the ark only for 40 days and 40 nights. He was in the ark for, for 10, 10 months what? there. Do you understand? Stayed up to 5 months there when the rain stopped. And then... On the tenth month, that's when the, the water finished decreasing. Mm. Right, right, let's go. Mm -hmm. And it came to pass mm. at the end of the 40 days right. that Noah opened the window mm -hmm. of the ark mm -hmm. which he had made. So, on the, here, on the first month, he has to stay another 40 days. Did you hear that? Yeah. After 40 days, he opened the ark, the window of the ark, right? Uh -huh. And it came to pass mm. at the end of the 40 days mm -hmm. that Noah opened the window of the ark mm -hmm. which he had made. Right. And he sent forth a raven right. which went forth to and fro until the waters were dried up from off the earth. So this raven just went off, never came back. Right? And what happened? Also, he sent forth a dove from him. So he took a dove. You remember, he had animals and birds and everything in the ark. So he took a dove. Sent over the to window. see if the waters were abated so the from dove off the was face of the earth. supposed to give a sign that we are now on earth, right? Uh -huh. But the dove found uh -huh. no rest for the sole of her foot. But that dove 
find no way to land because the earth was still full of water. And she returned unto him then into the ark. came back because there was no object to land. Mm -hmm. The only object to land was the ark. Came back and this told Noah that the waters were still there. Then yeah. he then he put forth his hand and mm -hmm. took her in. Right and took the dove back in. Right? And pulled her in unto mm -hmm. him into mm -hmm. the ark. Right. And he stayed mm -hmm. yet other seven days. Seven days after the forty days. Why is the Bible wasting time telling us all these periods hmm. just for guesswork, just for, to, for enjoyment of a story to make the children sleep when you're giving them story time and going back time stories. Do you think that's what the Bible was after? The Bible was after you and I, we said, to know the times, to know how to calculate the times. That's what the Bible was after, right? Uh -huh. And he stayed yet other seven days. Seven more days. And again, mm -hmm. he sent forth the dove mm -hmm. out of the ark. Took the dove again out. And the dove came into him mm -hmm. in the evening. Right. And lo, in her mouth was an olive leaf off. And the off. dove had an, a, a leaf. Where did the dove get the leaf from? So we are now on the ground. So because the earth now had produced, and because of the rain, the, the vegetation had come up, and the, the dove found the leaf and came back to Noah. With the leaf, right? Uh -huh. And the dove came mm -hmm. in in the evening. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. So Noah yeah. knew that the waters were abated from the earth. Right. That's why. That's why a good sign for him to know that now we are almost there, landed. And he stayed yet other seven days. After that, leaf is back. Still more seven days. Why? Why? Uh -huh. And sent forth the dove, mm -hmm. which returned not again unto him. Right. So this dove now, after seven seven more days, disappeared. Why? I was enjoying. Outside there's too much vegetation. There's no time now to go back to that big object of the ark. So now I knew once it's gone, it's gone. It's not coming back. Now it's time to open up the, the door so that we can go, go out and start our lives back again. So let's hear it. Mm -hmm. Read up to verse 16. And it came to pass mm -hmm. in the six hundred and first year, mm. in the first month, right. the first day of the month. Now, let's go to this calendar again. We saw after the tenth, there is forty days. And then after forty days, there were seven days when the, uh, the, 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 the dove came back. And then seven more days after the, the dove came with the leaf, seven more days. And then... Repeat that verse. We want to see where we are on the calendar, right? And it came to pass mm -hmm. in the six hundred and first year, right? In the first month. Now they have gone. Remember, it was six hundred years when Noah was six hundred years when they, they they were told to go into the ark, right? But now they have gone on to year six hundred and one. You understand? Mm -hmm. Six hundred and one now. When in the the first day of the first month. When was it? Yeah, mm -hmm. Abib. First day of the first month. Why? Is that date very important? When you saw it in Exodus chapter 12, God telling the Israelites, today is the... Let's go to Exodus chapter 12. Exodus next door. Up chapter 12, verse 1. It is the first day of the first month. What happened then? Right. Mm -hmm. And the Lord mm. spake unto Moses and Aaron in the right. land of Egypt, saying, right. Right. This month mm. shall be unto you the beginning of months. Right. It shall be the first month of the year unto you. Do you see what time they went, they went out of Egypt? First On month. the first month. First day of the first month. That month, that month, uh, if you want to see it was a bib when they are going out. But it's the first day of the first month. Go to Exodus chapter 13, right? Okay, so verse, four. verse three and four. Uh, three. And Moses uh -huh. said unto the people, yeah. Remember this day right. in which ye came out from Egypt, right. out of the house of bondage. Right. For by strength of the hand of the Lord mm -hmm. brought you out from this place. Right. There shall no live okay. There verse shall four. no live and bread be eaten. Right. This verse day uh -huh. came ye out of the in the month of Abib. Right. So this month was the month of Abib. And in the first day. So we are seeing this flood finishing. Go back to the verse where we, the last one we read okay. from Genesis. And it came to pass mm -hmm. 
in the six hundredth and first year, in right. the first month, right. the first day of the month, right. the waters were dried up from the off the face of the earth. Did you see when the last day, when the, there was no more water on the ground, it was in Abib. Why? That's the first day of the first month of the whole year of the biblical calendar. That it was on new moon. Here we were told on the tenth day, on the first day of the tenth month, which was a new moon. And then now we are seeing after 40 days and then after seven and then after seven, next day it is a new moon of the first month. Did you see? Do you see how the ark followed the calendar? The ark was following this calendar. That's why Sister White says, even the, go to, do you see, 399, some people say I'm memorizing things without showing where it is written. In Great Controversy, uh, 399, where it says, in like manner. Okay. <laughs> in like manner, right? the types which relate to the second advent mm -hmm. must be fulfilled mm -hmm. at the time pointed out in the symbolic in service. In this symbolic service, the second advent is also lying on this symbolic service. We saw the first, the, the destruction by Noah, by, by the flood. It also followed the symbolic service. And also, our own... You know, time of judgment, our own ark, which is the kingdom message, is also lying in the symbolic service. Now, if you have nothing to do with the feast, nothing to do with the symbolic service, then you are off radar, the off topic completely, because everything from Noah's time, it was in this symbolic service. And in our time, it says, as it was in the time of Noah, it's also the symbolic service. Sister White has confirmed it, confirmed the great controversy. That it is the second coming, unless you are waiting for something else. We are waiting for the second coming. It's also lying in this symbolic service. So if you don't study it, you'll be lost. That's why you and I have to sit down and start and calculate all these mathematics that God is giving us. So let's enjoy this study as it goes along. It's going to spend a lot of weeks, I'm afraid, because it's a very wide subject. But it needs you and I to take it slow but sure. Slow but sure, until we find out. And God is feeding us with that knowledge so that we come up with the time to prepare. And Sister White has said, it won't be obscure. It, it won't be, it, God won't leave us in darkness. And he says so in Amos chapter 3, verse 7. He will tell the servants, the prophets, about any incident. He won't do anything without telling the servants. Now he told his servant, no, what to do. So let's hear. Um, can you go to 2 Esau, 247, first paragraph. After faithful Noah mm -hmm. had sounded the warning to mm -hmm. his generation mm -hmm. and had completed the building of the ark, mm -hmm. God commanded his servant to enter into it seven days before the rain had begun. Right. As he mm -hmm. and all that were to go into the ark entered the wonderful boat that rested upon dry land mm -hmm. with no seeming evidence that it would ever have a chance to float, mm -hmm. the Lord closed the door. That ark was stuck there out and the world was still dry and the people are going in like when you do, when you go in a plane, you don't even know it's going to be flying up there. You go in as if you are going into a bus. But in a moment's time, you'll be up there. So this is what happened. They went on the family, this family, after the animals were all in. The family were told, were ordered by God to go in while it has seven days left. Did you hear that? Now, six days on the next paragraph. Six days passed. Six days Without passed. any apparent sign of they a flood. They were sitting there for six days and people were mocking outside. When the door was still open, six days passed. There, were, there was no sign that there was any rain going to fall. Because in that time, the rains were not falling. The vegetation was just growing because of the mist. Only the mist. You know, they call it dew. This is the only one that watered the vegetation. There was not, it was a sign, a rare sign. It was never even, nobody had seen any rain in that time of the, of the earth history. So they were told, it's going to come. Now, like, like it is in, that, in our time, we are telling you that the kingdom is going to be established on earth. Nobody believes that because we were taught that we are going to hop in the cloud and go to heaven. That's all we are, stick, we are sticking to. And when God says, behold, I'll come as a thief, he says, because you do not know about this coming to establish the kingdom. It is there in the Bible. Why, 
that we have made our church policies on something else which is later than the kingdom. The second coming, which is coming to establish the kingdom, is out of our syllabuses. But it is in the Bible. That's the problem of laying syllabuses before the history, the earth history come to an end because the scroll of God continues to unroll. And when it unrolls, we find new things from the Bible. But these policies that we have set, they do not go keep pace with the scroll. They don't. So, but the scroll now is opening up for people who are not bound by policies, bound by church policies, but they are bound by a thus said the Lord in the Bible. The scroll is being unrolled for them now to prepare for the coming of Christ. Now, let's read it. So here it says six days passed, they were staying in the, in the ark, right? Mm -hmm. Six days passed mm -hmm. without any apparent sign of a flood. Right. But in the end mm. of the seventh day, mm. the pouring rain from above, right. the gushing fountains from right. beneath, right. dashed against each other. And we know it is and the Noah's prediction. Day, mm. Seventeenth day of the second month, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And Noah's prediction mm -hmm. commenced in in commenced its dreadful fulfillment mm -hmm. in the devastation of the land. Right. As the waters from above and mm -hmm. the foundations from beneath mm -hmm. covered the surface of the earth. 15 cubits upward. Right. And destroyed every living thing by the end we of the 40 days and 40 nights. We are not about of what was happening when you are sitting in there. That's not our concern right now. Our concern is to know the time and what was happening according to the timing of God. Because if you want all those what was happening with the people mocking Noah and whatever, it's in a different chapter, in a different study. But here we are studying about the time. And when the rains were opened up, and the fountains, everything... After seven days, that happened. Do you understand? Uh -huh. And destroyed every living thing mm -hmm. by the end of the 40 days and 40 nights. Did you see? They yeah. suddenly ceased mm -hmm. from terror to mm -hmm. cal calmness. Right. From fury to peace. Mm. As though satisfied with the accomplishment After of victory. After 40 days and 40 nights, the rain was pouring like nothing. And it, you could actually feel that God is really angry, destroying his living things. He was really angry. And then after 40 days, 40 nights, it was all calm and quiet. Everything which was living, apart from those who are in the ark. Everything was quiet, dead. But only the family in the ark were alive. They were actually feeling the quietness outside to say, as it say, God is now satisfied. The anger is gone from God. Did you hear that? Right? Mm -hmm. For 110 days, mm -hmm. they neither increased nor decreased, right. but held their level by a miracle. You see, there's another timing there. 110 days, they neither increased nor decreased, but held their level by a miracle. Mm. So, 110 days, the ark is just still. No increase. No decrease. It's all quiet. Noah and his family are just quiet inside there. Right? Uh -huh. When the total of 157 days right? were fulfilled. Did you see now it's 157 days? Mm -hmm. The total was was complete. What happened? From the day Noah entered the ark. From the day and he began the ark. to uh, abate right that is the foundations of the deep opened their mouths to swallow them mm -hmm. down into the the bowels of the earth right now mm. we go back to clear the apparent scriptural complication in recording the duration right of the flood mm -hmm. and the confinement in the ark right in the life in the sixth the hundredth year of noah's life right. in the second month the seventeenth day of the month, it's the same day, what we have been studying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the same day, right, were all the fountains of the great deep broken up, right, That's and the windows of heaven were open. Seven, verse eleven. Yeah. The second month mm -hmm. and seventeenth day of the month mm -hmm. was the date of the solar year, according right. to the antediluvian calendar. So the second month, which is this one, and the seventeenth day of the month was the date of the solar year, according to the antediluvian calendar. Right? Uh -huh. When the raging flood began its violent rush. Right. You heard that from the verse. Yeah. The same indignation of nature vehemently continued 40 days. Mm -hmm. And when it had reached its climax 
and wiped out the inhabitants, it suddenly quieted down. Finished. God had finished. His anger was now done. Right? And... Adding 40 days mm -hmm. to the foregoing date mm -hmm. would show that the, the rain ceased on the 27th day of the third month. So it means when you add mm -hmm. 40 days there from the second month, on the 17th seventh. day of the seventh, second month, so when, where do we go? Repeat that bit. Adding 40 days mm -hmm. to the foregoing date mm -hmm. would show that the rain ceased on the 27th day of the third month. So it is the 27th day of the third month. Yeah. That's the 40 days added, right? Mm -hmm. And the ark right? rested quieted, mm -hmm. oh, rested in the seventh month. Right. On the 17th day of the month right. upon the mountains of Arat. Right. So let's go away, it says on 248.1, verse therefore. Therefore, mm -hmm. from the day the rain started right. to the day the ark rested, right. was exactly five months. Five months. We have found it when we wrote, read the verse. Yeah. Uh -huh. The same is recorded in Genesis 8 verse 3. Right. And the waters Go returned. To, yeah. Mm -hmm. And the waters returned mm -hmm. from off the earth continually. Right. And after the end of the 150 days, mm -hmm. the waters were abated. Right. This fact proves that the antediluvian monthly calendar consisted of 30 days to a month. So, so we prove if it finished at five months, mm -hmm. so the antediluvian calendar is 30 days. Mm -hmm. It's not 28, it's not 29, there's no leap year, nothing. But it is 30 days to a month. So when that's why when we found time, times, and the dividing of time, it was the 30 days which we are mm -hmm. multiplying to get the 120 days of the Dark Ages. So the month in the Bible is only 30 days right and let's go on to the second paragraph yeah and, and the waters decreased mm -hmm. continually right and we saw that the waters now started decreasing after five months continually until the 10th month until we we, we went to tell it in the just repeating what you have been reading, reading yeah in the 10th month mm -hmm. on the first day of the month on the new were the tops of the mountain seen right that is, mm. from the day the waters were abated mm -hmm. to the day the mountains appeared, right. there were 74 days. Right. The complete, sorry, to complete the seventh month right. in, eighth, in the eighth, in the month, mm -hmm. in the ninth, mm -hmm. and the day from the tenth month mm -hmm. is 74 in all. So, so 74 in all, all the days, right? Let's, let's read on again. And, and it came to and pass, came to pass the best, 13, in the right? sixth, the hundred and first year, we saw in the that, first month. We saw that in the six hundred and first month, what happened? The first day of the month, the it waters was, were dried up. The first from month the is the new moon of the beginning of the year, right? Mm -hmm. That is, mm -hmm. from the day the mountain tops had appeared right. to the day the waters returned to their proper place. Right. There were 90 days. Mm -hmm. To complete the tenth month, right. in the eleventh, mm -hmm. in the twelfth, right. and the day from the first month of the commencement of the new year, right. making a total of ninety days. Right. The following record. Now I want you to 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 go to certainly no one on the next paragraph. Okay. Mm -hmm. Certainly, mm -hmm. no one would suppose that this arrangement of the flood, with fixed number of days to each act was thoughtlessly devised by the just and wise God. Now, nobody will think that all these dates and times, we are just being told as a fairy tale, mm -hmm. right? Read. Uh -huh. Why should Noah yeah. and his family, w with all living creatures right. that went into the ark, be shut in seven days before? Why? Why was it? Why was it they stayed for seven days? Before. Mm -hmm. Waiting for the rain in the ark. Why? Why should it be recorded like that? Uh -huh. It would have been unwise mm -hmm. and cruel on mm -hmm. the part of God, right. also costly mm -hmm. to Noah right. and burdensome mm -hmm. to all the inmates of the ark just in to, prolonging to their the captivity. And just sit for seven days. It, it would costly. be very unjust, but mm -hmm. there was a reason for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And burdensome to mm -hmm. all the inmates of the ark, right. prolonging their captivity. Yeah. Why consume 40 days right. to flood the earth right. while he could have done it in much less time? When he created the, the, the heaven and earth, he didn't One get week. seven, ten days or forty days. He could have just wiped the, the, the earth one time. But why did he take all the pains to make the rain rain for forty days just to kill the people? 
Why did, you see, when he killed all the 250 prisoners who were, you know, revolting against Moses, he just, just one minute, the earthquake was, the people were done. But why did he get all these times, the full year? Why is he doing that? Was it so difficult for God to wipe the earth only once within a minute? There was an object lesson for you and me, right? Uh -huh. Why lengthen the captivity right. of his creatures in the ark? Why the creatures, the cows and everything, the dogs, if you do not walk your dog outside, you, you are making a terrible injustice for the dog just for one day. You, you walk the dog every day, every day to make sure the dog exercises. If you don't exercise your body every day, you are sitting, lying down, and you are sooner to, your heart will stop beating. But why did God do that? Make his creatures and the people who were in there stay for seven days with nothing, nothing, right? <laughs> why lengthen the okay? Mm -hmm. Why lengthen the captivity of his creatures in mm -hmm. the ark right? by restraining the liberty mm -hmm. of the waters in their downward course? Right. And compel them to keep their elevation 50, 15 Cubits cubits upward day, right? for one hundred and ten days. days. Right. Or why not more or less? Mm -hmm. Why should he cause the waters to raise upward right. in 40 days right. and consume 164? And make them all stay in the ark for the whole of the year until it is on the first month. Why would he do that? Is it Why? not contrary to nature? Is it not contrary to nature? Can you make people stay in one position for the whole year, for the whole calendar? We saw what happened on this month, what happened on that month, and finally on the first day of the first month, then everything was sorted. Why would God do that? There was an object lesson for you and me to study. So these days, when we meet, we're going to meet on these studies for mathematical calculation. We have had, we have learned the basis. But when we go further and we do not finish, we will make sure. No, no, we will make sure we will finish when the time comes for us to finish. But today we are laying the foundation. Of course, when we are building a house. When you build the house, you start with the foundation. You take your, I mean, days and, and the month maybe on the foundation, on the building and making sure it is going to be well laid. And then next, then comes the wall. Next comes the roof. Next comes the plastering and everything and finish ups and the painting. And the house is ready for people to go in and settle. Now, this is what we are going to do with this very important study. We want to rush it. We will lay the foundation. Today we're laying the foundation of it to, to create an awakening for you to know that there is a deep study coming into our brain next time when we meet. And uh, uh, let's read from the following. Okay. Mm -hmm. The following mm -hmm. will not only prove mm -hmm. that, that what has been said is correct, mm -hmm. but it will also show that the closing of the door of the ark seven days before the destruction by flood Mm -hmm. is a type representing the time from the close of probation to the commencement of the plagues. Right. It will further prove that the reign of 40 days and 40 nights is a type of the destruction of the wicked in the plagues. Right. The 110 days mm -hmm. after the rain had stopped and before the waters were abated mm -hmm. is a time type mm -hmm. of wicked of the wicked mm -hmm. both during the millennium mm -hmm. and for 100 years after. Mm -hmm. Also, mm. that the clearing of the earth from the waters is a type of the destruction of the wicked by fire, the second death right. after the millennium. So and the we see it has something to do with our time because when did we start about this uh, study of Noah? We started at the end of it, mm. not when you are st still preaching to people, there's 120 years coming, no, no, no. We started when he ended and then he is being told to go in the ark and stay for seven days. That's where we started. So we are starting with his clause of probation. So when we're dealing with the clause of probation, we know that the judgment of the church is, is done first. And then later on, this judgment of the general uh, public. But when, the, when we are talking about, so it means we have two clause of probation, our own, which is imminent right now. And when our own is finished, the judgment is closed for the Gentiles as well outside. So we have two clauses of probation. So when we approach this study, we should know that, first of all, it closed for the church. So we have Noah's type. 
And then when it's closing also for the wicked, for I mean for the Gentiles for outside, it also has its own types and it's same similarly using the the same story for Noah, which applies for us as a church and also applies for those who are around us separately. So judgment begins in the house of God, it says so. So that's where the close of probation of the rain starts. Now, now let's Let's, let's see the judgment uh, finishing um, with the close of the church. Go to Revelation chapter 4, verse 5. 4, verse 5. Yeah. And out of the throne mm -hmm. proceeded lightnings now, and thunderings. Let's, let's go to the f uh, next verse before that one. Okay. Yeah. And round about the throne right. were four and twenty seats. So this is the judgment scene. We see it's the judgment scene where uh, John was shown the, the judgment, which is, is beginning in 1844, is the judgment scene. That scene was set only for the house of God first. Yeah? Judgment of the living or the judgment of the 144,000 first. Right? So this throne, when he says he was, uh, you know, Christ was investigating for the dead first. And then when he when he started investigation in 1844, it was for the dead. And then next, it, when the judgment of the living finished, then it extends to the Gentiles. Do you understand? But when the judgment for the dead, I mean, for, for our judgment of the mm -hmm. living, lead on, right? And upon the seats, mm -hmm. I saw four and twenty elders mm -hmm. sitting, mm -hmm. clothed in white raiment. Right. And they had on their heads mm -hmm. crowns of gold. Right. And what? And out of the throne right? proceeded lightnings, lightnings and thunderings thundering, and, voices, and voices. And there were seven lamps. Right. So in the judgment, in our time, it's a, we saw in another study, if you want to just run through the videos, you find where there's proper explanation of that. We had lightning, which was the message by William Miller. And also, what do we say? Thunderings, which was also the message, the second angel's message by William Miller. And then voices. thunderings, I mean voices, was the message from Sister White. So this is concluding the judgment of the church. So, this one. So, but when you go to the judgment of the living, it is the same thing, but in reverse. Go to eight, uh, Revelation 8, verse 1. Right? And when he had opened the seventh seal. Right. There was silence in heaven right. about the space of half an hour. Right. Uh -huh. And I saw the, la the seven angels mm -hmm. which stood before God, mm -hmm. and to them were mm -hmm. given seven trumpets. Right. And another angel mm -hmm. came and stood at the altar, mm -hmm. having a golden sen censer, mm -hmm. and there was given unto him mm -hmm. much incense, right. that he should offer it mm -hmm. with the prayers of all the saints upon the golden altar. Right. So you see, when and what happened next? And the smoke of the incense, which came with the prayers of the saints, mm -hmm. ascended up before God mm -hmm. out of the angel's hand. Right. And the angel took the censer mm -hmm. and filled it with fire of the altar right. and cast it into the earth. Right. And there were voices, voices? thunderings, thunderings, and lightning, and an earthquake. The first one in Revelation 4, we've, we saw lightnings, thunderings, thunderings and voices. voices. Now, in this other reverse, it starts with Sister voices. White's message. Voices. Next is goes to the next the fourth angel's message mm -hmm. now, and then the like fifth that. angel's message. So it is voices starting. Next it is uh, thunderings, which is the fourth angel, which we believe the fourth angel was the uh, 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 brother Hotel, right? And then next is lightning, lightning, which is the branch message, right? Uh, then and an then, then there was an earthquake. So why do we have all those scenarios in reverse? Because now it has gone to these other th th three angels, be I mean two angels being, starting with Sister White's voices. But the first one was thundering, lightning, thundering voices, voices, which is William Miller, William Miller, second angel's message, voices, Sister White. Now, then when you go to the next angel's message, it is Sister White, and then voices, and then, but... There is one important scenario on that verse when it starts extending to the Gentiles. There was a half hour silence first. Now, it shows when our profession is finishing, 
it finishes with the half hour silence. When he started in Revelation chapter 4, it started with the voice, the, the lightnings, thunderings, and voices, which is Sister White. But the conclusion was, was half hour silence. That half hour silence. For today, let us study that half hour silence and see exactly what are we talking about with that half hour silence. Now read from uh, SR. Uh, two, uh, two, uh, two SR two one six first paragraph is to say what made the silence. Let's let's no. let's study about this silence. Yeah. What made the silence? What made this silence? As the judgment of because opened. when the judgment finished with the judgment of the of the church of the house of God first there was silence that began with a silence because now it's a transition. The judgment is going to go to the to the Gentiles, but it starts with the silence. Now, what was happening when we had finished to be sealed, we had been sealed with God, New Jerusalem, and the Lord of Star. But next, the transition starts with a silence of a half hour. Now, what is this silence, right? Mm -hmm. As the judgment opened, mm -hmm. John states, mm -hmm. out and out of the throne proceeded. We, we read that verse 4, verse 8. Read it. Yeah. Proceeded. Proceeded lightnings, lightnings thunderings, thunderings and, voices, and voices, and the four beasts Rest not day and night, right? saying, Holy, 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 Holy right. Lord God Almighty. So you see in verse 8, in our time, what is happening in heaven? The four beasts, they rest not day and night, saying, Holy, Holy, Holy. So if you go to heaven right now, there is no silence. There is a continuous Holy, Holy from the four, uh, four, four beasts, isn't it? It's, we saw it in verse 8. They rest not day nor night. There is no silence. Because there is someone already saying, holy, holy, holy. Yeah? Now, what happened? The voices mm -hmm. are continuous right. day and night. Right. While the judgment is going on. Right. But sometime mm -hmm. after the seventh seal mm -hmm. was opened, mm -hmm. these voices were silenced so for we about half an hour. So we saw chapter 8, the seventh seal being opened. But there was silence in heaven. There was no holy Holy, holy, Lord God Almighty. It is silent. Now, we saw after the seventh seal is opened. And what? After the angel offered the prayers of the saints. Right. And cast the fire upon the earth. Right. The voices resumed. Right. And there were voices. Right. And thunderings. Right. And lightnings. Right. And an earthquake. Right. So, after the, the searcher has been poured, the voices started. But we saw there was half an hour. Why? Because there was no voice saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God Almighty, which is in verse 8, chapter 4, verse 8, which says there is no silence in heaven. There is a, a voice calling, Holy, Holy Lord God Almighty. But now after that, there was half hour silence. And then after the half hour silence, there was resume, resuming the voices, thunderings, and lightning. Now, which is now the transition, the judgment coming from the house of God first. Finishing with the the half hour silence, and then after the half hour silence, then voices now are heard, which is the extension of this uh, judgment going now to the Gentiles. Did you hear? But in between, so we have two things: we have the judgment of the of the of the house of God first, which judgment begins in the house of God from eighteen forty four. The judgment of living. Uh, those who are going to suffer, when you say judgment of the living, it means those who are still alive and going to meet Christ without testing death. That's what we say, judgment of the living. Now, when they are being given this message of the seals, that's the judgment of the living, which is they are preparing for. But what exactly do we mean by judgment of the living? It means those who are living, after those who receive the seal, those who don't receive the seal will have judgment. That's, that's why it's a judgment of the living. So this half hour silence is there's something happening in the house which has been judged. Already being sealed first before others are sealed. Why are we being sealed? We are sealed for a special work when the judgment goes to the Gentiles. But before that judgment goes to the Gentiles, there is a half hour silence. But what is it? This half hours. What is this half hour silence, right? Read on. Evidently. Evidently, mm -hmm. the judgment for some reason had stopped. Right. And a half an hour later, it resumed. Mm -hmm. 
It cannot be otherwise. Right. For mm. if the judgment was going on and mm. the beast and the elders kept silent, mm -hmm. it would indicate that there was something wrong. There was something because we had been told by verse eight or Revelation four, verse eight, it says they 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 neither keep quiet day nor night. But after some time, there was half hour silence. So it means those beasts were saying, holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. Even the angels who, the noise which was in heaven, there was quietness. What is it that made this quietness? Now, because after this quietness for some time, then the judgment now, the, the voices started. Thunderings and lightnings. When the message is being extended now to the other people who are not in the house of God, then there is holy, holy again in heaven. Now, what is it that was happening on that transition where there was half hour silence? Did you hear? Now, read. Uh -huh. It cannot otherwise. Mm -hmm. It cannot be otherwise. Right. For if the judgment was going on mm -hmm. and the beast and the elders kept silent, right. it would indicate that there was something wrong. There was something wrong. Something. Something. To which they could not say amen. They can't, they can't say, holy, holy, Lord God Almighty, amen, with all the wings. There was something that they can't say amen to. What is it? Therefore, uh -huh. the only proper conclusion right? is mm. that for some reason, the judgment retired for half an hour. Right. So, as it is right now, and we see a lot of people, perplexities, earthquakes, everything, people dying and everything. Do you think heaven will say, amen? It's not, there is silence. There it should be silence there. There is some, something is happening on earth which even the beast, even the, the people, the population in heaven cannot say amen. There is something coming on which is wrong among us. us and they, say, they can say, holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, amen. They can say amen to it. Amen means let it like that. Let it be forever like that. They cannot say let that forever be like that. So what is it that was happening on earth? You and I should have this question. Is heaven saying amen right now? Is it saying, but then we will study the mathematical calculations of when the house of God was being judged, was receiving the seal. Next, what we find, we find now they are in perplexity. They have our silent is there in heaven. Why are the population in heaven not saying amen? Why is there no noise? It's so quiet. Why? We saw when Noah was in the ark, there was silence on the 40 days, 40 nights. No one was talking because God was angry at that time, destroying with the flood, destroying everything. And for some time, after 40 days, it remained silent. And everyone, that silence was so marked that they thought it's now the anger of God is, is gone, is finished. What is it? Now, we have to be studying. And unless we study the Bible and find out what is happening, we will be left in misery. We will be left, you know, pondering what is really happening. We should be knowing what is happening in heaven. There was a minute of silence towards, towards the first month. Now, which is our first month? Our first month is coming in March. Yeah? When the, 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 the first month, in the, the new moon of, 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 of the first month, is where everything finished. Noah went out. The silence is finished. Mm -hmm. the, the, the pain which was there when they were feeling all our brethren who are outside the ark, they are now destroyed. This is what was happening when Noah was in, was feeling for those people he knew around who were not in the ark. What is happening there? We have an ark in the last days, brethren. We have an ark. There is a silence in heaven. When this ark is going up and when our brethren are getting it, there is silence in heaven. There is silence. The angels can't say amen. Even the preachers, which are, you know, the four beasts, they only represent the saints on earth because they are saying, you have redeemed us. You, you do. So they are saints. Now, the saints in the ark couldn't say amen. The people in heaven, the angels in heaven couldn't say amen. Why? There was something happening. When the judgment of the living started, we saw from 1844 the judgment started. We started receiving the seal in our time. We all we know that we are being sealed. But at the end of the seal, there was silence in heaven. Why? Because on earth something wrong is happening. Did you hear that? Something. Do you, do you think, do you believe there's something happening on earth? 
That is not right. Do you believe? But what happens in heaven? They're silent. What happens with the saints? They're silent. No one was silent in the ark. No one was silent in the ark. Heaven was not saying, holy, 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 Lord God. But John says they were silent. But then what is this half hour silence? Hmm. We're going to calculate and find out how many days was this half hour silence. We will continue this study, brethren. It says extensive study for you and I to know. For you and I to know. Read on this here. <laughs> What made the interruption? What made this interruption? And brought yes. about the change. What brought about this Let change us of the noise which was there? Holy, holy, Lord God. Right? Let yes. us first determine the length of the prophetic half hour's time. Right? Do you, a, do you know that there is a prophetic half hour time, right? This year. A day mm -hmm. in prophetic time mm -hmm. stands for a year. Right? One hour is a 24th part of the prophetic year. Right. So we know that we have got 30 days. A day is 24, it's 24, uh, 24 hours. So it means one of the 24th hour is one hour, right? One over 24 is one hour, right? Uh -huh. A day in <laughs> prophetic time stands for a year. Mm -hmm. One hour is a 24th part of the prophetic year. Right. And figuring mm. 30 days to mm -hmm. a month, right. it would be a it would be about two weeks. Right. Half an hour mm -hmm. would be half of two weeks. Right. Therefore, mm -hmm. seven literal days. Right. Seven days mm -hmm. were used for purification. So for the seven days they stayed in the ark. Seven literal, seven literal days were used for purification. That's the half hour silence. Did you hear that? The calculation came from what you read. So, from what you read on, read on. Again or on? No, read on. Okay. Seven days mm -hmm. were used for purification. Right. From these references, mm -hmm. we conclude mm. that the half an hour mm -hmm. or seven days mm -hmm. stand for the purification of the church. Right. Pointing forward to the fulfillment of Malachi 3 verse 1 to 6. Right. But we have a more definite proof which will clear all doubts. Right. Uh -huh. In observance of the Passover, right. the Lord commanded Israel to celebrate that occasion seven days. Right. Surely no one Why would, would say God that God commanded his people. On the Passover, you have to keep the Passover for seven days. Why? Where did he get the seven days from? We are seeing him giving seven days to Noah. Go in the ark for seven days. Hmm. And there was silence when he went in. But we see the destruction coming on. For 40 days, the rain is raining. Now, why? where did he get the seven days? For people to eat and even bread for seven days. Where, did, where does he get all that? Right. Uh -huh. Surely, mm. no one would say that God commanded his people to commemorate that event Seven days with no object in view. Why would he put a Passover? Why would he put a seven days Passover? Why did God put all that? All these figures. Now, you know what? Now I know you are tired. When we, we start next, we'll start with this half hour silence to explain, to explain it properly, to see exactly. We, were, we know we are now being judged. We know we are in the judgment of believing. And the, 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 the house of God is receiving the three seals. But nobody talks about when that three seal is finished, about this half an hour silence before this judgment is extended to the wicked. Because in this, in, in, in First Peter, just go to First Peter 4, verse 17. I know now we are tired, but you can't comprehend when I, I, I do the calculation. On the, on the next video we meet, we will now start on the uh, uh, chapter 4, verse 17. First Peter. For the time right. is come right. that judgment must begin in the house of God. But it does not stop with the house of God. Once the house of God is finished, what happens next? Read. And if it first if begin, it at, us, begin at us, in the house of God, what shall the end be of them that obey the not the gospel of God? Of those, those who obey not the gospel are the Gentiles. Mm -hmm. Gentile, it means unbeliever. So when it starts with us, so what then shall it be with those who obey not the gospel? So meaning is going to finish with us and go to those who don't obey the gospel. So 
We saw between these two transitions, there is a half hour silence. There is something happening which God, which heaven, angels cannot say amen. Which righteous people cannot say amen. What is it we saw Noah was quiet, wouldn't say amen in the ark? He wouldn't say that. Because there was something he was experiencing that God is now angry. Noah, you and your family go in the ark. And when they went in the ark, they knew it is a hard journey because all they are living out are going to go into a lot of punishment, which is painful. We've been drowning in this water, which continues to rise. What is it? Are we expecting God to finish the sealing in the church before extending this seal to the Gentiles, before the National Sunday laws and everything which is going to happen? And I'm seeing people in the house of God, they're expecting a National, national Sunday law. It doesn't come to us. It goes to those who obey not because already that's the day they are keeping the Sunday laws. When it goes there, it would have finished with us. And it finishes with us with a half hour silence. We will study what is happening. But he says, why did God give you the Passover? Mm -hmm. Why? Because when you saw the end, it started at Passover. So we are heading towards Passover. When everything starts and everything ends. Now we, we know the Passover is in March. That's the trap. 12th month is in March, and then at the end of March, as Sister White says, at the beginning of March, at the end of March to the beginning of April. That's where the Passover is. Now, when we are heading there, what should be happening to us, which no one should say amen to? What is it that is painful that is happening on the earth, which the angels can't say amen to? Now, we're going to study all this. We're going to study all this, brethren, and then when we meet next, we start the calculation. Sorry, I told you to bring the pen and paper, but the foundation is very important for us to lay it first. When you do the calculations in the next session, in the next lesson, we start the calculation, we know exactly what we are doing. May God bless you and I to know how to calculate these terms, to know how to find out where we are going and what is happening from the scriptures, from the prophecies. In the Bible, in the spirit of prophecy, God has never left us in darkness. God knows those who are earnest will find out the truth and find how, where to go, how to go, where, how to meet Christ without testing death. May God bless you all.